In this short film, we took a trip to the Hobo Hilton, a five-floor abandoned building in central London that has been taken over by the squatters. We also visited the MP who made this new law happen, Mike Weatherly. Let's see both sides of the argument had to say. She says we don't spend time like we really should. She says she don't know who we and more. I think she hates us deep down. Okay, I'm Mike Weatherly MP for Hove and Port Slade and uh, I got involved in the squatting law because constituents of mine were fed up with having to spend money to evict their people who had taken over their properties illegally. Obviously Thanks. recently as we know Mike, Michael Weatherly was, was one, of the, one of the foremost people to push yeah. through, push through the, uh, the uh, change in the law on squatting. Yeah. Um, what I would say first and foremost is that I don't promote or support um, the, the occupation of any house that's in use by people or a family or yeah. a person. So the reality is the little old lady comes back from holiday, sees a bunch of squatters in her property, maybe with dogs, maybe without, and it's up to her to ask them to leave. Now that's unacceptable. They shouldn't be there in the first place. So we decided that what we need to do is make it a criminal offence to stop people stealing what it doesn't belong to them to start with. And nobody has the right to take what doesn't belong to them, really. But the but, but something like the land and buildings, I mean, it belongs to all of us. It's a basic human right, really, to have somewhere to live um, and to have a choice as well, you know. It's like, um, they want to live like that and I want to live like I want to live. Hobo Hilton is located in the heart of London. It's an office building with a total of 3,662.3 square metres. Occupiers claim it to be a free space open platform for education and creative, revolutionary work groups and activities. Squatters sleep on the messy floor and show their creativity by painting the walls of the occupied building. I think the new law is going to be amended. I think there'll be more strikes. I think there'll be a lot more um, protests. And we have the right to take over the building because it's been empty, empty for three years and there's so much floors, so many floors and so many rooms, so many of us, we don't have a place to stay. I do believe that if a property has been standing empty for six, seven years, uh, with, with the number of homeless people on our streets, it's, it, it, it is actually inhumane to keep that property empty for that, that amount of time. And this building has been empty for like uh, six years, been mothballed. And we were all uh, kicking about on the street uh, ten days ago, like sleeping on the pavement. And then we sort of stole in, came in here. And it's like, yeah, really good. Sushi. We skimmed a lot of sushi from some places around here, sushi bars. We just leave their legs outside of the street and we just go and pick them. Yeah, a lot of lots of sushi. Squatters, who are they? Are they homeless victims of society who can't afford a roof over their head? Or are they the hippies of 2012 who don't want to fit in with today's mainstream life? After visiting the Hobo Hilton, in my opinion, there are two categories of people living there. One, those who want to, and two, those who need to. A lot of squatters seem to love the free and reckless lifestyle in the squat. Others generally had nowhere else to stay, but why don't they seek help from the local authorities? Let's see what Mike and the squatters themselves have to say. First of all, these squatters are not victims. They're web savvy, they're, you know, they're intelligent, and they tend to be anarchists. They tend to be running around uh, taking something for nothing. These are not homeless victims. The homeless people in our society are vulnerable, and we do need to look after them. We should be looking after them through the system. The local authorities have a duty to look after our homeless, and they should be doing that. What these people are is they, in Brighton we had a case where they broke into a property and they invited all their friends from around the country to come down for a couple of weeks. They aren't vulnerable victims at all. So what I say to them is that, you know, that they are taking something for nothing. I feel so much safer in here than like outside, because outside's a different big world and you can get like, well, talking about London really. It really disempowers you, this society, the way that it is. It really disempowers you in so many ways. Um, and I got to a point where I was either fucking 
sink and smoke yourself to death or um, get out there and, and, and be the change that you want to be, if you ask me. Not really, like, community, we're basically like a family yeah. and we look out for each other. I don't want people to go to jail, I just want them to stop doing what they're doing. Now this was, a, this was an individual who had been asked to leave previously and refused to leave and when the police turned up for another offence trying to find somebody else they saw he was a squatter and, and, and arrested him and indeed in Brighton two days after the law came into effect uh, the police arrested some squatters down in Brighton as well and it does send out the right message, it's, we are serious about this, it's not going to be brushed under the carpet by the police and that if you do squat you will go to jail. What I'd like people to do is stop squatting so we don't put people we will continue to occupy properties and we will continue to uh, open up community centres, open up centres of uh, activists, um, space where they can come, they can uh, organise, network um, and we'll, we'll challenge any law that, that, that what we see as an invalid government sets to us. As a conclusion, I think each side of the argument had valid points and maybe when we get rid of those 650,000 empty properties, the squatting problem will disappear itself. Okay, same with this. I'm going to do a show, one of these, you know. Hello, my name is Claudio. <coughs>